Hello you guys, this is Kalatius and Matthias and I'm finally bringing you a video finally catching up, kind of, I'm forcing myself to do this so this is going to be split into three parts due to the fact that it's like one complete series so right, let's check out my M I am so lost with the this my M and Neo, I gotta go upstairs and check if I'm missing, but I don't think I'm missing any Mayim. I know I missed one Neo because they, I don't know if I said this in any video, if I did. Oh yeah, this fell out, so I don't know why I did that. I don't know if it's supposed to fall out like that, but this is really one nice cost play of Nurse Joy. Really nice. Looks like it's supposed to be a poster because like I said, it fell out. I don't know if I said this in any of the other videos. Obviously, I don't remember, but I did miss a Neo one. Um, because for some reason the stores just didn't bring them, so, yeah. Oh, look, that's Cla Gavin, Clavio Gavin. Yes, he said that, Octoon, maybe, I don't know if I said that right. <laughs> but these are pretty colors, and looks violent, so pretty colors and violence over there. Oh, yeah, they made, or they're going to make, I don't know if it's even out, but a new Yu-Gi-Oh film. Let's go to center around the original series, I guess. Let us pray. So seeing red. Wow. Video game? No? Is this a video game? Because that looks crazy. Nice graphic. Oh my goodness. So comic turns. I don't even know who that is. <laughs> Battle Girls Time Paradox. Interesting title, but not even 50%. Let's see. Oh, so... I guess that thing that fell out goes over here. Because it's cosplaying little section here. So... I like how this these didn't get a number on here, but this did. I agree with the nine ten. I think it was gorgeous for nine ten. But obviously, my little world, it is a ten out of a ten. This surprised me. Well, well, technically, this here, these are they. This series always gets numbers like that. I don't really know why. I've never played it before, but this kind of surprised me. At the same time, it didn't. I just didn't expect to get a 9. I thought a 7. But, yes, this is definitely a 10 out of a 10 for me. The Ace Trilogy is worth it because it's $30. And at the time, which is like mini Stone Ages for me, they released at least... Uh, up to Apollo, they were all $30 a piece. Well, when I first got into it, I paid full price for Trials and Tribulations and Apollo Justice and Edgeworth. So for $30 for three games, that's high definition. And trust me, when they cleaned up the graphics, they did an excellent job of it. It is like, like when you play, compare it compare it side to side with the video of the DS and you'll know what I mean that's how nice it is so yeah definitely worth it and you know what if you don't want to buy it for $30 you might maybe wait they might even drop it $10 so you never know but obviously I would never wait so <laughs> me wait for a price drop I would never do that <laughs> but oh, Monopoly got a game uh Villager Amiibo and Yoshi Amiibos. Gotta love those Amiibos. You know, I, I, I like how they're like just showing us the Villager and the Moth the Amiibos. Like, ha ah, ha ha we're taunting you even though this magazine is not from America. But we're still gonna taunt you. This manga is kind of strange because this has a hard hardcover? I think it's a hardcover. So because of that, it's more expensive than it should be. Well, not should be, but... You don't usually see a lot of manga that are hardcover, unless maybe it's a novel. But granted, novels don't even get hardcovers, do they? Hell no. 
this is a nice drawing. I like it a lot. So, pretty awesome stuff here. I'm going fast because I want to get all the things that I brought downstairs in one trip that won't take too long. So, there you have it, guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video. And next video, we'll have manga. So, I'll be seeing you very soon. So, bye, you guys.